how to make a sign in five minutes using the CR630 from jzgraphics.com. First, in Inkscape, we'll select the text tool. Then, we'll type out what we want to say in the font we like. I like marker felt, 48 font size. The font size really isn't important since we'll be setting the size of the sign in Sign Cut. Once we have the text we like, we go to File, Save As, we'll name our file, and make sure that it's saved in an encapsulated postscript. This is the format that the vinyl cutter uses to cut your sign. Once we've saved, the program is going to ask us how we'd like to save the file. We want to convert the text to paths for cutting out. Next, we're going to prepare our cutter. First, we're going to blow the vinyl into the CR630. The included stand with the rollers in the back makes it easy to hold the vinyl perpendicular to the cutter. Also, the rollers make it so that there's very little work involved while cutting. Next, we'll lower the pinch rollers onto the vinyl so that the cutter can move the vinyl back. Once the cutter is powered on, we'll go into the settings and then set the origin. The origin is the point from which the knife starts cutting. Now we'll open up Sign Cut X2. From the open menu, we'll select the file that we just made in Inkscape. In this case, vinyltest.eps. Then we'll hit open. SignCut then opens the file in a format that makes it easy for us to see what is going to be cut. At the top left we can set the size. For the vertical height I want 5 inches. SignCut keeps it proportional for us by changing the width to 7.5 inches, keeping the original aspect ratio intact. Once we're happy with the sign size we can go to the cut menu. From there we can select how many copies of the cut we'd like. 1, 2, 3, 4, the numbers go up as high as you'd like. Once you've configured your settings, go ahead and hit the cut out button. This sends the file. Once the cutter is done cutting, we'll advance the vinyl a little bit so that we can cut off the excess without having to mar the graphic. I use a standard letter opener for this. Now we'll start what's called weeding the vinyl. Weeding is taking the excess vinyl off of the sheet to reveal the cuts that we made. This is pretty standard and only takes a few minutes. If you've never done it before, it's best to use a flat tabletop, a bright light, and an X-Acto knife. However, I've done it more times than I'd like to count, so I just do it freehand. Now that the majority of the excess vinyl is gone, we'll go and take out the middle of the letters like B, O, E, and R, leaving us with our finished vinyl sign in less than five minutes.